Welcome back to today's episode. I've got so much content for you today, it's not even funny. I got a couple customer interactions that you can't miss. So stick around and make sure you watch us to the end. It is a bad, bad boy. Eight cars a month, don't cut it for me. The dealership starts playing games and you're just asking for the price. Drives me nuts. For those of you that are always complaining that I don't show enough vehicles, that it's all talk and no cars, let me show you one of the vehicles that we just got in that most of you don't even know this vehicle exists. This is the new Sierra EV. It is a bad, bad boy. The interior, the sunroof, the color. Look at these wheels. Just the way this thing looks is just, it's beefy and it's futuristic. This is a beautiful truck. Right now I'm working uh, with a customer of mine. Uh, we're trying to pretty much try to put everything together. Of course, they got to fall in love with the vehicle. Pretty much competing right now with Ford. We're going to put something together. The next stuff is the fun stuff. Um, we decided that this one is not going to work exactly for everything that he wants, but due to the fact that we got so much inventory here, I'm going to find him the perfect one, hands down. Glad we were able to get all this stuff done. How did it drive going over there and everything? What did your wife think? She likes it. I was, I was actually surprised. She liked the yeah. color. She was fine with it. She was good. It's, I, it's my car, so. This is going to be a little controversial, but the truth is the truth, and I just got to state the facts. And I expect all of my salespeople to sell a minimum of 15 cars a month. Are you listening to this? Standard industry for a dealership is they expect their salespeople to sell a minimum of eight cars a month. Eight cars a month, don't cut it for me. When I got a guy that's only selling nine, 10, 11 cars a month continuously, I gotta take a look and see what's going on. Something's up with that because with the amount of traffic we get here, everyone that's on their game, paying attention and coming to work with heart should always sell a minimum of 15 cars a month. So here's a new section for you. This is going to be the money savings time here at Starling. Today we have Craig Robertson, our general sales manager, who's the one that's going to let you know how you can save money on your next new car purchase. If you're a Costco member, you currently get $1,000 off the Sierra. You see, most people don't know about that. Craig, what else do you got for the folks back at home? If you have a car that's not a GMC or Buick, you qualify for $3,000 off a brand new Encore GX. That's insane. So in other words, if somebody's driving around a Mazda or a Toyota or a Hyundai or a Kia and they decide that they come in and they want to buy a Buick from us, there's another $3,000? Yes, as long as it's a 2010 or newer, absolutely. You don't even have to trade that car in and you get that rebate on top of the other wonderful rebates that you qualify for. Make sure you follow us because we're going to be giving out all this information all the time. I'm kind of old school. I've been doing this for 37 years. I've been a general manager for a long time and I've always been heavily involved in marketing. The way I've always done it was obviously television, but I was given some really good advice by some really good friends uh, not long ago that the way to really get my message out there to customers quicker is right here, social media. Everyone's on their phones all the time. Everybody's got a TikTok, everybody's got Facebook, everybody's got Instagram. And I gotta tell you, I started doing this about 30 days ago and the results have been amazing. The feedback we're getting from people, the comments that we're getting, the people are following us, people are coming in. One can only imagine what's gonna happen here in the next 90 days or in 20. 25. I'm really, really excited because now I have finally been able to get our message out to consumers about why it's important to buy from a tier one store, dealer of the year, and save people thousands and thousands of dollars on average and every single sale. I need customer parking cleared out, please. No room for new customers to park. So although we have a lot of customer parking, a lot of the times the salespeople will come up here and they take test drives and then they leave the cars there while they're showing them three other ones. And in the meantime, you got three or four guys doing that, a potential new customer comes in that wants to try to buy a car, right? Because that's what we do. There's no parking, they're gonna keep on going. You know, you gotta have parking for the customers when they come in here and it drives me nuts when these guys don't think about these things. All right, right now we're working a deal with a guy who's got a little bit of negative equity, but we're gonna get him out of it, get him out of his 1500 Silverado, put it in a new 2500 Sierra Dually. Happy customer, repeat customer, about to pull the credit, as long as the credit's fine. We got a deal. We have a deal. I go to a bank and that's a deal. So in this office, we have customers in there right now, so I'm not going to go in there. But in this office, just a couple days ago, you know, I always walk around the showroom and I shake hands and I want to meet our customers, find out where they come from and all that stuff. And I met a guy that bought a brand new Sierra from us that day. And I had a 15 minute conversation with him. And this guy's old school like me. He's frustrated because he went to three different dealerships and they were all playing games with him. He basically just wanted some information. He wanted to know what the price was. And he says it was all a show and a dance. 
everybody was just giving him the runaround, and he walked out of all three places. He came here after seeing our Facebook ads, and he, he actually wanted to go on camera to say how he felt about his experience here versus all the other places that he was recently at that same day. So remember, when you're looking for a car, you make the first contact with the dealership, the dealership starts playing games and you're just asking for the price and you're asking what the fees are or what the out the door number is. And they start hemming and hawing and they start giving you the, that should be enough for you to stop right there. I just don't understand how some of these dealerships do what they do. You see, we're living in an era of information. Everyone has information at their fingertips right here. Don't lie to the buyer. Tell them what they want to know or you're going to lose them. We're going to go to the back now in our detail department. So we wrap all of our Hummers as soon as they come in. But our uh, graphic designer, Leo, has just come out with a new design. And he's back there wrapping the ones that we're taking to Miami. So Miami's going to get the first look at the new wrap on our Hummer. And uh, I don't think they're going to be too happy when they see the boys from Stewart show up in their neck of the woods. So these are our old logos, our old uh, designs uh, as a wrap on the Hummers and our $7.99 a month payment lease. But now I'm gonna take you in the back and show you what the new one looks like. So here's Leo out here putting the new uh, logos on the car. Leo is a graphic designer and he thought that the old wrap was a little too boring. So here's the new one. And here's a new 799. And then here, I'll show you one that they just completed 100% on the outside of the building. Look at that. A lot nicer, very catchy. We can put a big QR code on it so customers, as they're driving from a distance, you can catch that QR code, takes them right to our Hummer inventory. And then we got the nice uh, one on the front here of the vehicle as well. So we're going into enemy territory tomorrow. We're going down there with a convoy of uh, Hummers. We're closed on Sundays, but the guys are all willing to volunteer on their day off on a Sunday to go into enemy territory, giving away some koozies and some nice Hummer King shirts to bring awareness out to the people down south on where the Hummer Kings really are. Here comes the Lambo. Have you heard of the electric Hummer? All right. Tonight, oh my God, she got it right. All right, let me have another one. Hey, Craig, where are you going? Headed to the rodeo out at the Chubb. Nice. I think Greg thinks this is a photo, right? It's a photo. This is a photo. <laughs> <laughs>